Well, while many people were in the midst of the Black Friday craze, the Honolulu Fire Department took time to recognize good Samaritans whose actions have made a difference in the community. In all, 10 heroes honored for five lives saved. KITV4 News this morning's Amberlynn Hyden spoke with two of today's honorees. With 52,000 alarms each year, even the 4,200 members of the Honolulu Fire Department can't be at all places at all times. So it doesn't go unnoticed when individuals put themselves at risk to help someone else. Your quick response not only saved the Honolulu Fire Department many hours of search and rescue, but also helped to save a life that day. Last May before sundown, Michael Von Wiegand and a friend noticed a man struggling more than 100 yards off the shore at Sandy Beach. He bought a boogie board that day, didn't know how to swim, just joined the Navy and uh, jumped in the water and was in the Molokai Express instantly. Wiegand went in after him and because of the strong current, he had to swim all the way around to the Blowhole Cove to get the man ashore. It's good to keep an eye on everybody in the water, especially after the lifeguards leave. We like to uh, um, help out any way we can. Last December, Nicole Lucero, who is a trained nurse, and off-duty firefighter Kalai Miller were at a Honolulu restaurant when fellow diners called for help. A man appeared to be having a heart attack. I actually performed the mouth-to-mouth -mouth section, and she did the chest compressions. And, and when you're working in a buddy system, you know, two-person CPR, it's certainly a lot easier. You get a little break as the other person's doing their work. And so... Um, you know, just teamwork. Miller says the teamwork included the quick response of fire and EMS units, but also the people who recognized something was wrong called police and asked for help. Others who were honored during the ceremony said this is what makes living in Hawaii special. People helping people. Amberlynn Hyden, KITV4 News.